Hey everyone, it's Todd the Cyber Truck Truck Guy, and today we're going to be talking about the progress or lack thereof on the Nikola factory and how that compares to Giga Texas. I sort of accidentally fell into this because I've been distracted with watching uh, all the progress with Giga Texas and then all the stuff with Tesla stock split and all that stuff has been kind of distracting me as far as videos I've been watching. And But that led me, I was watching updates about the Giga Texas construction and I saw a video about updates related to the Nikola plant. And I actually had even forgotten that they broke ground on July 23rd with their construction plant. And the videos were kind of funny. I'm going to show some clips here of it in a second. But I want to show you before we get into that, I want to show you something before we get into the construction progress, which is very um, suspicious, which is I want you to see where the plant is located. Now, no one talks about this, but I finally tracked down that it's this parcel of land. I've confirmed that multiple different ways, but it's this piece of agricultural land sitting outside or kind of in between a couple of so let's zoom out here a little bit this is Eloy Arizona this is Coolidge Arizona up here right here and here is Casa Grande Arizona now if you go further you can see the outskirts of Phoenix. So let's just show you how far away this is from the outskirts of Phoenix. We'll use the furthest south point here. It's 30 miles outside of Phoenix in this very desolate area. The population of Coolidge is like uh, 10,000 people. Casa Grande, I think, is like double that. This is supposed to be a million square foot plant churning out 35 or 40,000 Nikola semis when they reach peak production. Where are they going to get the people to staff this? This is what they said about this site. After an 18-month national site search of various locations around the United States, Nicola selected Coolidge for its outstanding industrial infrastructure within the region. What? Look at this. There's nothing here. I don't... Uh, what infrastructure? <laughs> There's nothing. There's not even cities. I am completely mystified. So, first of all, this is bizarre. Okay, well, that's enough for that. Now let's talk about the Nikola's progress as far as construction goes. They actually purchased this land back in March. So they've had from March until July to get everything ready to go, get all their permits, get everything that they need to get done. You know, the stuff that Tesla did in like 30 days from the time that they actually selected the, the site in Texas, and maybe they selected it sooner, that they had apparently put an option down on, on to purchase that land sooner. But the point is, it wasn't like at the groundbreaking, they shouldn't have been absolutely ready to rock and roll. This is where it's funny. This gal, um, and I'll put a link to her channel, she just took it upon herself, her name's Jessica Kirsch, to drive out into the middle of Arizona. I'm guessing she'd live somewhere in this vicinity and look and see what the Nikola plant look like or the Nikola construction site look like. So this was 728. The so groundbreaking was on July 23rd. This was on 728. Hold on to your hats, socks, shoes, everything because here I am at Nikola. That's it. Construction site. Groundbreaking. It appears as though, yeah, they did break some ground up there. Okay, so, all right, give them, cut them some slack. It's been a week. Well, this wasn't even a full week. It was like five days later. 
So let's go. So she goes back on the 6th, which is like 15 days after groundbreaking. Woo woo! We've got a blue, fancy, schmancy, shiny chrome wheels truck. In it sits no one. And then we've got a, it looks to be a Grand Prix, older, silver, parked there. And there's our porta potty! Okay, so now we're almost two weeks after groundbreaking. Still, nothing. So then, let's go out to 817. There we go. Okay, so... This is the middle of the day. So let's count the equipment. Now, okay, one wheel loader with the bucket detached. It's not doing anything. I don't know what's going on. Might have some mechanical issues there. And let's see, it looks like we got a so we have a backhoe right there, not moving, though it looks like, yeah, no operator in the cab. Then we have a scraper or grater. There's a motor grater there working. So we're up to three pieces of equipment. And then we've got a scraper back here. So they're creating a mound. That's good. That's it. Wait, let me make sure I didn't miss something. Yeah, that's just one scraper. So there are four pieces of equipment working. Now, what's really interesting here is a fan wanted to um, provide maybe some more information. And so a fan with a drone went out there on the 20th. And here is some of their footage. So there's that same, there's that same wheel loader with the bucket. That same wheel loader <laughs> sitting there without the bucket on it from a week before. That thing hasn't even moved. Good old boy with that wheel loader is having some mechanical issues. This is the whole site. It starts right here. It goes all the way to here. Here's their pond for filling up. That's a water truck right there. Let's skip forward. So I've counted so far two pieces. So the water truck is... Uh, oh, wait. No, that's a scraper. So a scraper just removes topsoil and redeposits it in other places so that's what a scraper does and i think we have a water truck up here that's going to be the we're going this is going to be the high point of this video here's a water truck Woo! okay so we have we are now on the 20th of august and we have and and god only knows what they're doing um, they've done some some grading um, that I don't even know what the purpose of that is. They do have that. They have their little fill pond for their water trucks there. But yeah, I mean, we have two moving pieces of equipment and one apparently non-functioning wheel loader that's been out there for um, at least a week. Now, let's take a look at Gigafactory. I'll probably speed up this part of. Um, so let's play this. So this is so the August twentieth was twenty eight days into Nikola's build. So I went to the same day. This guy uh, Jeff Roberts has been uploading videos every day since Giga Texas started. So. I'm going to count the equipment here. Now, I'm going to fast forward this in my in the actual video, but I got to go through this process anyway, so I thought I'd capture it. So that's one before this straightens out here. Okay, here we go. Two, 
41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. Yeah, so that's something. So oh, that's a uh, excavator, so seventy nine seventy nine pieces of equipment and who knows I probably missed one or two in the mix but you know you have Elon Musk and Tesla saying that Giga Texas is going to be done in approximately 12 months 10 to 12 months and you have Trevor Milton with Nikola saying they're going to be done in 12 to 14 months from when they started construction. I think the proof is in the pudding, not to mention the fact that Giga Texas is located right next door to Austin, major interstate. I mean, this makes sense, right? It makes sense that you would put a major factory here. Who the hell has ever heard of Coolidge, Arizona? I mean, who's going to want to go work there? I, anyway, that's all I got. I just, uh, I had to show you that. I'm just blown away. All right. Like, subscribe, all that other stuff. Thanks for watching. Bye.